A new global space race in the United States not invited, apparently. Communist China had its first spacewalk mission recently, Russia renewing its commitment to space exploration, India planning a mission to map the surface of the moon, uh, one nation conspicu conspicuously absent, that, of course, the United States. Bill Tucker with our report. India is on its way to the moon. The goal to provide a three-dimensional chemical and mineralogical map of the entire lunar surface, partially to seek new energy sources. The Chinese, who also have a probe orbiting the moon, have a similar mission. They are pushing towards putting a man on the moon. Just last month, they successfully completed their third manned mission into space. Observers say the Chinese and the Indians see their space programs as a way to achieve international prestige. But it's more than that. The Chinese have a very strategic view of space. On, on the list of space priorities, the harnessing of minerals from the moon is really dead last for us. For China, it's pretty close to the top. The strategic view also has a military edge, with the Chinese pointedly shooting down one of their old weather satellites last year to underscore their growing expertise and potential threat in space. At a time when the Japanese are launching lunar probes of their own and the Russians are publicly committing themselves to further manned space missions, the United States space program appears in decline. The uh, last shuttle mission will be 2010. It does not look to me like the uh, next administration, whether it's going to be Obama's or McCain's, is interested in spending the vast amounts of money that it would be that would be needed to keep the shuttle running until we get the next manned missions up. This could mean the U.S. would be without manned missions for nearly a decade after the last shuttle flies. Experts say it creates the appearance that the United States is losing its edge in space development. Now, the United States, for now, is the clear leader in space exploration. What concerns observers, however, is that we are not as focused on goal achievement as we once were, and that the will which propelled the United States to be the first in space, the first on the moon, has given way to a sort of been there, done that attitude that could prove costly in maintaining our lead, Lou. Well, been there, done that 40, 40 years yes, ago with exactly. the uh, landing on the moon, almost. Uh, the sad part is we're dependent upon the Russians to get up to the space station. It's true. Uh, and think about it. Over $2 trillion to stimulate this economy, what could we have done mm -hmm. uh, with investment in space technology and all the benefits that have accrued from that investment over the course of the past half century? Uh, it is such short-sightedness and a very sad eclipse of, the, of a, a wonderful, wonderful space program. Thank you very much. Bill Tucker.